All right, you guys. We have another debut comic. Make some noise for Daniel Old. Hey guys, how are we all doing? Um, my name is Daniel, I'm actually from Australia, or if you see me vomiting on the subway tonight at 2 I'm actually from New Zealand. Um, uh, I've been here for about a month now, and I've been staying at probably the best value accommodation in New York. It's, it's saved me thousands of dollars, and I'm talking about Occupy Wall Street at Sakona Park. Um, it was all good up until Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. when room service came in and uh, thought we needed a shower with a high pressured hose. So um, I've moved on and um, I'm staying outside the Apple store now and, and when the police ask I just tell them that I'm just really, really excited for the iPhone 5. <laughs> but I've travelled a fair bit over the years, so I've been to places such as Iran and, and Iraq and just recently North Korea. And uh, a lot of people say that I'm crazy for sort of going to these places, but all these countries combined are nowhere near as dangerous as the Greyhound bus station in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But uh, yeah, the Greyhound, the Greyhound buses, they like to market themselves as um, you know, a pleasurable and, and relaxing way to get to your destination. And based on my experience, that's true. At any given time, about 20% of the patrons are in the process of masturbating. <laughs> But um, anyone that's been on the Greyhound bus would know that. <laughs> um, as I said, I went, into, I went into Iraq as a tourist, and um, when I crossed the border in there, it, it, they made this great big fuss over me, and I was like, you know, what am I, like the millionth tourist coming through the border here? And they're like, no, you're the first. <laughs> and um, yeah, they took me into their, the customs officials took me into their staff room and, and you know, gave me tea and sweets and, and shouted me lunch as well. I just thought, wouldn't that be great when coming to the US, you get taken to the custom officer's staff room, you get, you know, you have a drink together that's more than 100 mils, you know, you get, and then you just laugh at people and guess the race of, of the genitalia that's walking through those new, uh, those new uh, body scanners that they've got at the airports in the US these days. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as I said, yeah, I went to uh, North Korea as well. Um, and, you know, North Korea is, is an interesting place. Like, you know, the people there are pleasant enough, but um, you know, they have absolutely no idea about the outside world and kind of like Herman Cain, really. <laughs> Poor Herman Cain, they're like, he likes pizza and he likes hitting on women. There's nothing wrong with that, he's just running for leader of the wrong country. <laughs> There's just an opening up for Prime Minister of Italy that he would be perfect. <laughs> But uh, when it comes time for like the Facebook generation to run for office, let me assure you, no one's going to win. It, that video of you masturbating on chat roulette is going to come out. <laughs> but um, I've, I've actually got a decoy Facebook account set up in case I ever do run for office. It's just got three pictures of me rescuing cats. <laughs> Um, I must admit, I was actually quite disappointed when I came to the United States um, last month. I, I thought I'd raised all the red flags. I really put in an effort. I had just come from North Korea. I'm unemployed. I had a one-way ticket. I didn't shave for a couple of weeks, so I looked more Middle Eastern-y. But I, I thought I'd raised all the red flags and not one finger. Not even a tickle. <laughs> Story of my life, really. I'm just not a seductive person. <laughs> um, my friends back home, they warned me about uh, walking through Central Park at night. They said I'd get raped, uh, or I could get raped. So the other night I walked from one end to the other twice. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It was quite demoralizing, really. <laughs> I had a homeless guy ask me for change. I'm like, so, I'm sorry, you want to rape me? <laughs> I'm sorry, my mistake. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Yeah, um, when it comes to women, though, I've, I seem to get rejected without even talking to them. Just the other day at the bar, I, this, this girl told, turns around, she's like, it's not going to happen, so don't even try. So I'm like, oh, okay, and, and then I took my hand off her ass. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it just seems like I'm going to get any action, I need to go to Penn State. <laughs> I don't even feel guilty when I walk past a homeless person anymore, that's how long I've been here for. <laughs> but um, anyway, according to a recent study about, uh, it's one in six of you have an STD. 
um, which is a good half a dozen of you here. And <laughs> not me though, because they sexually transmitted, so that rules me out. <laughs> anyway, thanks. You guys have been a great audience. <laughs> Everybody.